There you go, everybody. Now, in this video, we're going to talk about how to um, get reverse shell when you are or when you have compromised a Joomla content management system. So, previously, we were doing, I mean, how to get reverse shell uh, when you have access to WordPress. Okay. Now, suppose that you have gained access to Joomla blog. Okay. Uh, suppose that you have guessed the username and password using some way. And now you are ready to turn the unauthorized access that you had, okay, into a system compromise, okay. We're going to do that today for Joomla. So for Joomla, guys, you know, this is part of Joker challenge, the Joker challenge that we had the last video for. We're going to continue on with this challenge. But as you know, guys, uh, my methodology is to teach you the concepts, not how to look for secrets or how not how to look for the flags or to find the passwords in the source code, you know, <laughs> sorry, the page stores or in the steganography file. You're not going to uh, encounter that in the real life or it, during your career as a penetration tester or whatever, cybersecurity, you know. So now the next concept in this challenge is to um, have reverse shell starting from Joomla. So if you navigate to this URL, the IP address of the machine, the port and administrator, usually administrator is the uh, path where you can find the login interface of Joomla. So now the it's given that the username and password for the administration panel is Joomla, Joomla, which is, I mean, the default credentials. Of course, you must change these information once you install your blog. So log in. Okay. Now we can see many uh, items over here. Now it's the same concept as WordPress. In WordPress, we used to, I mean, insert our malicious code inside a, a plugin file or theme file, especially PHP files. It's the same concept over here into Joomla. We need to find a file or a template file that has the, extensi the, <laughs> the extension of PHP and plug in our malicious code. Now, to do that, we go to extensions and from that, we select templates. Now, as you can see, it doesn't matter if you go to Protostar or if you go to Base 3. Okay, it doesn't matter. These are templates. So whichever you want to plug in your malicious code, I mean, you can go for it. So let's select these. And from here, guys, you can select any PHP file. It's PHP file. Why? Because we're going to use, I mean, the only way to get a reverse shell in the case, in this case, is to use PHP reverse shell. Now let's suppose that we want to insert that into the error.php file. So we click on that file. And given the fact that we have administrator access to the content management system of Joomla, we would like to, or we can uh, insert our malicious code freely without the need for special permissions. So now let's uh, take out our, you know, the, reverse shell. Now, by the way, you can download this reverse shell from pentestmonkey.net. Probably, most of you probably know that. Okay. Now, a few amendments needed before you implement this code. So first, we need to put the IP address of the machine that you want the target host to connect to. In this case, it's the attacking machine. Now, this is the port where your listener uh, is set up on. For my example, I need let me clear that to set up listener. Okay, on the port, let me say four five four five. Now I need to go back and put here four five. Okay, we click save. We grab this, copy that, and we go to our target file. Control A, delete, Control V. We paste the malicious code and we save that. 
Okay, now how can we uh, run this file? In the case of Joomla, guys, you click on template preview. Okay, once you click on that, the Joomla system will try to make a preview in an in instance of the file that you have modified. The same case in WordPress, you click on preview, the blue button where you can preview the page. It works the same in Joomla. So if I click on template preview now and click minimize, let me see if the revert shell is connecting to my machine. It seems I haven't got a connection yet. So let me go back and see what's what. So it's a connection refused. Okay. Let me try another file. Let me grab the code, go to index. As you can see, I have tried this. So let's start, try with index, but instead of four fours, I'm gonna four five four five. We save that and we click on template preview. Let me see here. Okay, now you get, we've got um, reverse shell access or, or system compromise on a limited shell. Now guys, we are officially inside the system. So the next step is to enumerate the system and escalate our privileges from regular, normal, unprivileged user into root user. So let's identify ourselves, ID. The ID is, as you can see, our www data, okay? And there is LXD over here, which means the system is running on container. Okay. LXD is, you know, a system for Linux containers. It's like virtual machines, but in a set of windows, it's Linux. Now, in the next video, guys, we're gonna uh, teach you how to exploit or how to privilege escalate in Linux containers, guys. Okay. Now, all I have to do now is to end the video okay and you know okay and you know see you soon guys